Hello and welcome to Game Dev Arts. Today I am going to show you the loot drop system. Here I am showing you the loot drop system. When the enemy dies, it going to drop some loot or whatever you want. So before starting the video, please like, share and subscribe and help me to reach 1k subscriber. So let's start the video. Uh, so let's first start with the structure of the nodes. Let's say there is an enemy. So you're gonna have to specify a loot drop location uh, which should be above the enemy's uh, location or basically at the enemy location an enemy is going to be a bunch of nodes so you can just drop your node into the enemy hierarchy and like here but i'm just here showing you so just for you to be able to see how it's gonna work so you need another scene for example coin and coin needs to be a rigid body for some fun animation you know physics so inside uh, the rigid body i have created an area 2d node and you can just duplicate the rigid body collision 2d here also so that it functions same basically you can scale uh, scale down or scale up one collision and this behavior will be simultaneous see so to see what's your what's the coin look i have created a sprite too in the coin script i am using impulse randomizer uh, here you are getting a randomized number using randomize generator dot new then in the ready function randomize that uh, basically seed the uh, randomizer and create a variable impulse which is going to be a vector to and add the value impulse randomizer dot random integer range between 10 to 10 it's also going to include this number so it's it will be inclusive of these two number i mean you can get minus 10 or 10 also uh, so the vector 2 in the x uh, it's gonna randomize whether it should go left or right then it's gonna randomize how high how high it should go minus 152 one eight minus 180 so this is how far it's gonna jump it's gonna apply the impulse uh, which basically result in the jump of the coin uh, small animation so just apply it to the self position it's the offset uh, to the impulse it's going to drop the coin and you need your player to pick up that coin so just add area 2d body entered uh, using area 2d note here double click on that and it will add this code here uh, so you can just check if your player is in group player uh, then you can add the value of the gold coin here you can just also randomize that value and you can queue free and you have to queue free actually <laughs> your coin node uh, i am using this code to show how it's going to work so basically somehow center this code is not going to be used in your game you only need your player or if you are creating such code where you are going to use mouse for uh, for picking up your drops you can use this code uh, with some more additions so basically your mouse entered and it's going to add the gold point into the gold single turn uh, and it's going to print the value and set itself free so in the loot drop code this is a this is uh, not going to be 
use in your um, code in your game and here you need to specify a function loot drop taiwan and inside that function you need to uh, randomize your loot randomizer basically see your root randomizer and then how many percentage of that root you are going to get is calculated by this loot randomize loot percentage uh, it's gonna randomize between 0 to 100 it's going to increase your 0 and 100 to using rank i range random integer range so if the loot percentage greater than equal to 0 you can even use a greater than zeros uh, that means if the player is totally unlucky and get the zero the player won't going to get that loot but here i am using greater than n equal to zero that means player is going to get some loot and inside that you need to add for i in range in b this means how many times that coin is gonna be instantiated into the scene basically how many coins a player gonna get uh, so here i am using one to six basically a player can get one or six coins one in range of one to six increasing of one and six so here i am in instantiating the coin using coin dot instance and adding the child inside this loot drop uh, position uh, which is usually going to be where the enemy is so this and if loot percentage is greater than equal to 20 uh, you can add some another uh, another instance of another thing for example gems or elixir or health and this is how it's going to be like it's a 10 type system if it's not true then it's not going to run these codes which is inside it so if the random percentage is for example 50 it's going to run up to here and going to print 3 not 4 and 5 so let's test it here I am playing here I am guide 5 means I am totally quite lucky but I get 4 coin only and I got 40 gold let's run it another time I am totally unlucky here I have got 2 so that means I have got between 20 to 40 uh, so till and 2 coin so let's run another time. I have got four coins, but two here, and one coin gets lost. So let's check more uh, into the coin, which is a desert body. Here I have used physics material with bounciness, and I have increased the gravity scale up to two, and I am using collision layer uh, which you can rename at project setting general down here 2d 2d physics and you can add the coin or anything you want so it will create a name you need to say it now it's going to show you name the coin so you need to create uh, you can place these two layer at any place I prefer here As this means that it's going to get a collision and it's going to collide with itself and with this second layer which is uh, which I usually put my background or environment in the second layer so that means going to uh, its collision is going to be this uh, first layer, a uh, tenth layer, and it's going to collide with itself and with the environment, which uh, these these are important. 
and you can just tweak some variable up to you want whatever you want up to your need so static body 2d this is my environment in the second collision layer and it's not checking all the collision with anything it's just a collision layer so that's it for this video so please like share and subscribe and help me to reach 1k subscriber Thank you.